friends welcome to jx by star student sila how are you all i hope you all must be doing well friends without wasting much time let's start our today's session friends as we know that world is under the threat of corona so it's really a very tough time for all of us in this tough time we can do two things first we can support our government by following its instruction and second we can utilize this time for some betterment so the betterment is we can increase our knowledge to increase our knowledge watch my videos and increase your knowledge main hu aapki dost aur host jigna let's start our today's session which is about microsporogenesis let's move to the first question yes before beginning let me remind you this is chapter 2 sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 4 three parts are already published so here i am producing the mcqs which are very useful for the competitive exams so let's move before moving let me remind you if you like my video don't forget to like and share my video and if you are new to my channel click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel to be the first one to get notified when my new video is out when anther is young a group of compactly arranged cells called dash tissue occupies the center of each microsporangium let's move to the options okay a sporogenous b epigonal c cuboidal and d cuticle the correct option is yes a sporogenous tissue friends when anther is young a group of compactly arranged cells which are called sporogenous tissue that occupies the center of each microsporangium let's see it in the figure here in the figure the clearly the label shows the microspore mother cells which can, which is reddish in color and which contains the sporogenous tissue now let's move to the next question the process of formation of microspores from a pollen mother cell through meiosis is called dash the process of formation of microspores from a pollen mother cell through meiosis is called dash a sporogenesis b megasporogenesis c mini sporogenesis d microsporogenesis the correct option is yes d microsporogenesis the process of formation of microspores from pollen mother cell through meiosis is called microsporogenesis okay let's see here the entire process of microsporogenesis is described in this figure now Let's move to the next question. Full form of PMC is dash a previous mother cell b pollen main cell c pollen mother cell and d pollen mother coat. The correct option is Yes, C, pollen mother cell. Full form of PMC is pollen mother cell. Let's move to the next question. The dash represents male gametes. A, pollen grains. B, pollen disk. C, pollen tube. And D, none of this. The correct option is A, pollen grains. Friends. 
the pollen grains represents male gametes let's see the structure of pollen grain which contains two walls outer wall called exine inner wall called intine inside it it contains cytoplasm which is containing nucleoli okay let's see move towards the next question pollen grains are generally dash a round b square c spherical and d rectangular the correct option is c spherical yes friends pollen grains are generally spherical let's see few examples of few pollen grains all these are different pollen grains of different plants and we can see that all of them have a spherical shape friends now it's time to ask the previous question do you remember my previous question no okay let me remind you which is the most important layer for nourishment in my previous video i have asked this question which is the most important layer for nourishment the correct answer is let's see what is the correct answer yes the correct answer is septum now it's time for today's question what is the other name for pollen mother cell answer this question in my comment box watch my next video to know the answer okay till then like and share my videos and if you are new to my channel click the bell icon and subscribe to my youtube channel signing off from jx bar star student zila thank you so much for watching my video till the end thank you so much